back to Desk Geek. We are doing part two of desktop customization. Now, I told you last time I had screwed up my whole desktop by wanting to show you all kinds of different options that you can use to customize your desktop. The one that I choose is in my go to is Rocket Doc, completely free, open source, although consider donating, and Rain Meter. So, those two in combination together, I think, give you the best desktop customization, at least the best for me. So what I'm doing is I am working on putting my desktop back together. But I realized that there's kind of a fatal mistake in how I had set things up before, which by installing fences and some other programs, no fault of theirs, uh, ended up screwing up a lot of my shortcuts and icons because I didn't have a set path for all of the shortcuts that I wanted in folders. Additionally, I wanted to show you how you can get different icon sets so you're not stuck with the traditional Windows icon. So uh, you may or may not know you can change any icon uh, on your desktop whether it's Windows and you don't have any of this customization or not so for instance if I just go here and click new and folder I can right click on this go into properties and click customize change the icon and here are my default icon now another cool thing you can do even if you don't want to do all this customization is come here to this uh, rocketdoc.com website and they have all kinds of icon sets that you can download that look really cool and a great way to customize your desktop I recommend you download the rocket doc and then utilize their icon sets here uh, and this will allow you to have like for image editing for instance if I click that it's gonna bring up any of my image editing software that I use that I'm currently rebuilding. So what I what I want to tell you to do first though is go and create a folder where all of your icons um, and customizations are going to be. For me I just chose my local C drive and I created a uh, folder called Rocket Doc so I always know where it's at and then in each of these folder sets I created um, the shortcuts to the items that I use most often. In this way, if I ever install something else to try to customize or whatnot and it screws it all up, I can always repoint Rocket Doc back to these folders here fairly easily. So how do you do that? Well, you can come up here and you can right click anywhere you want and you can choose Add Item. And then what I like to do is choose Blank Icon first. Um, then I'm going to go and right click on that and I'm going to go to the Icon Settings. And here is where I can effectively change the way the icon looks and point it to a certain area so I do a lot of YouTube stuff so I want a icon specific to YouTube now here's your defaults and they're okay but you don't have a lot of choices here but if you go and you download this set any one of these icons here that you like so I have this 556 icon set that I downloaded and what I did is I created another folder uh, again within my uh, rock within my rocket doc path that just has the icons where I extracted them to and so you can see that C colon rocket doc icon set so that's where I extracted the download here too is my own folder wherever you want you can just point it uh, when you click on plus here you can point it to wherever you saved that or extracted those icons to I don't recommend you keep it in your downloads folder because a lot of us clear out our downloads folder periodically and you may lose your entire icon set if you do that so put it somewhere where you're not going to delete uh, on accident but in any case now I have all of these choices so I want something that you know pops and tells me that this is going to be my YouTube folder where all of my uh, recording software and everything is going to be stored so let's see a good icon for that so a movie icon would work perfectly for YouTube and let's just do a quick check if there's anything else and of course you've got gaming icons for your paths you want to set up there is there anything else I would want to use instead and 556 you've got a lot of choices to play with let's just stick with the movie icon for now and I can always go back and change it later so I'm going to now call this YouTube so I know this is my quick link and now I want to create a target now if you browse to your target you're only going to be able to select one icon so what I like to do this is the path this is my YouTube path uh, let's scoot this over YouTube path here so you can just right click and copy address and then I can paste it right in there so it's going to point to that YouTube folder 
I want it to run normally and all of that, so I'm going to click OK. And now you can see I have my YouTube folder, and I'm going to close this down and just click on it, and boom, it takes me right to any of the programs that I use for YouTube, and it looks awesome. So just some other ways that you can customize, so Rain Meter here, Rocket Doc here, I still haven't moved all of these icons into their corresponding folders yet, but you get the idea of what I'm doing. Uh, this is how you can customize your desktop, make it look geeky and cool. Leave your comments below. Let me know some customization options you do. Or even better, you can tweet me uh, or um, send images, links to images below where I can see what your desktop looks like if you have something cool you want to show off to the community. Until next time.